Hey PhilosophyTube, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and while we are all self-quarantining and staying home and keeping social distance, I thought that since I can't do any thrifting and I've out of thrifting video footage, I would do an unboxing of this box of my grandma's dolls. Great grandma made these, and I think they are amazing. They awed me as a young child, and they still awe me as an adult. I haven't had them out since they came to live with me I don't know how many years ago but when I was a little kid once in a blue moon my mom would open up this box and we would go through it and we would talk about the dolls and I would get to play with them a bit if I was super super careful and it got me thinking I have teenage boys they don't want to play with my dolls but Sometimes we have those special toys tucked away that come out on special occasions and maybe with all that is going on in our lives right now in the staying home, it might be time to break some of this stuff out and let it see the light of day and share some family history. Let's do that. I know when I was growing up, my dad had a set of electric race cars that came out once in my childhood. They were out, set up for about a month, and they then were packed away never to be seen again. There was an erector set that I heard about, but never ever saw. Th there were things there, and there were things that did come out and did get used. And my mom has another doll set that I would love to do a video, but it's at her house and self-isolating, I can't go get it, but there will be a future video about that. If you're interested, let me know. You can tell I moved these into a cuter box from the craft store a few years ago, and I had not opened it until the first time I filmed this video. And of course I forgot to do the thing that makes my camera not be wonky, so we're doing it for the second time. I'm losing the element of surprise, but you haven't seen them before, so I guess it's okay. These were crocheted by my great grandma in the probably late 50s, early 60s for my mom's doll collection. I don't know what kind of a time frame they span. She crocheted their dresses, she made their petticoats, they almost all have, I think one is missing her bloomers. But come on guys, it's been like 60 years or something? They are just gorgeous. And she did, I think every one of these dresses is a different crochet stitch, which makes me wonder if she had a pattern book or if she was making these up as she went along she very well knowing her could have started with one base pattern and then made them up or made enhancements and changes it's this little red riding hood she has lost her arms but one of them is in the box and i will at some point learn how to replace the elastic in these old dolls Oh, here's the hat from the first one. I had their hats laid out, and then I messed it up. This one, is she a drum majorette? She's got her little boots with the fringe, and there is just so much detail in these. And if you think this is detailed, wait till the very end, because I'm going to show you pictures of the one that does not live with me that is the most detailed little embroidered doll I have ever seen embroidered crocheted doll I have ever seen in my life. I always thought she was an ice skater. I don't know why. I have like backstories in my head to some of these dolls. And I am just, I counted and now I forgot the number. There's something like 20 of them. Somebody's, oh, this is her petticoat is fallen off her body and is stuck to her arm and I'm not going to try to pry it off until I do some research and figure out the best way to do that. I just once in a blue moon mom would unbox these gals and I would get to very gently play with them. There are three of them that are the worsted weight acrylic in their dresses and those are all the ones with the poofy short dresses. The others are all crochet cotton. And like I said, I don't know if she, there must have been a pattern 
but whether there were this many patterns or she was making her own modifications, I don't know. And there's nobody at this point who would know. Here's the groom. I always thought the groom was dorky because he was a boy. And honestly, I mean, he's like old first edition Ken. He's kind of dorky. But what I couldn't remember when I was getting ready to make this video is if his clothes were crocheted. They are. He has got tails. He's got little, what do you call those? The little straps that come back and button over the tails and stripes and just, I th oh, he has a tie. His tie has slid around the back of his head. The bride has a little rhinestone, rhinestone necklace. And a full train, of course, and her poor veil, which is just, she was never my favorite. I mean, I know how much, this dress is probably the most work of any of them, but the bride was never my favorite. We're coming to my favorite. And this one, I, I don't know if these gals ever had any, if I ever named any of them, and I don't know. Now I want to name them. Um, got any ideas for names? Leave me a comment below. Oh, she did it again. She did it in the first time I filmed this. This one bats her, our little platinum blonde bats her eyes. I These are just, I am still squealing my second time through the box and I'm still squealing over them because they are so freaking cute. And there are so many tiny, tiny, tiny stitches. This one had a wire in her hoop skirt that got squashed because I didn't know that I knew I was squishing the dresses. I didn't know there was a wire. I can fix that. I can make that better. And look at this one. Oh, she bats her eyes too. And the dress. And the, they have different necklines. They have different skirts. I just want to know so much more about these than I can ever know. And I'm, Mom, we know a lot, but not enough. I just... Can I squeal? Now, this is my favorite of these gals. This is the one that I always have been, I have been since childhood walking around with the clearest memory in my head. I think someone must have said that she looks like Scarlett O'Hara because I never saw Gone with the Wind as a long, young child, but she's got the green dress and the sleeves and the hat, the hat, and I just adore her. There's one more doll in here and she's kind of a mystery outlier. Her dress is made of feathers on styrofoam, so grandma must have made her. I never like this one either. She looks snooty. She's not as fun as the crocheted ones. And she like lives in her own plastic bag for some reason that I don't know. I'm just flabbergasted by the amount of hours that my great grandma spent on her projects. And she made these for a little girl to play with. Or she made them to go on the shelf of a little girl. I don't know the exact rules of my mom's childhood, but I love them. And I did find at the very bottom of everything in here, my mom had written a card that said who made them and when. And not much more information than I just gave you, but so if someone else in the family went through these, they would have a chance of knowing what they were and that they were not a thrift store find that they were something important. So I'm glad she did that. This little doll doesn't live with me. She's another one of grandma's creations and the quarter is there for scale. If you know the little tiny plastic dolls they use for baby shower cakes, this is one of those. And that guys is metallic thread. Can you imagine? She has a bonnet. She has a dress. She has little bloomers, all of them crazily detailed. So those are grandma's dolls. In a house where I consider everything to be an heirloom, those are the real heirlooms. Among many real heirlooms. I wish I had her talent. 
I am constantly awed by her talent and so many other things that she did. And there is more stuff that she made that is still in the family. Now and then I will see something that I had never seen before and have that feeling of all, awe all over again. One of these days I'm going to rescue some of these poorly dressed dolls from a thrift store and I'm probably going to try to learn to crochet so I can add to this little collection a bit on my own. Let me know, do you have something special you're going to pull out and show the light, expose to the light of day and maybe let your kiddos play with or just play with yourself? Because we're home and some of us have time to do things like that and maybe it's a time to think about family and family history and what's important. Thanks for watching, especially if you made it through all of my rambling about dolls and history and heirlooms and all of that. I will be back with you again soon with more videos. I've got a whole list of things that I might get done while we're here at home.